how long does she claim this went on for? Well, Carolyn and Stephen, she says it was going on since the time that she started as a flight attendant for Taubman's private jet. She says that happened for six years. Finally, she says she couldn't take it anymore. It was a dream job, you know, to be aboard a beautiful aircraft going to um, amazing destinations. As a flight attendant for Alfred Taubman, Nicole Rock says she mingled with some of the world's most powerful people, but she also says she endured humiliation and harassment at the hands of the billionaire real estate mogul. He was very um, intimidating, very strong, um, using physical force. Nicole says wheels up or down, Taubman was all over her. At times it got scary when he was alone. Also, um, in company of others that maybe he felt comfortable in front of. Really? That he could, uh, he felt he could behave in a manner that was um, inappropriate. In the lawsuit filed in federal court, Rock's attorney details the graphic accusations. Among them, that 88-year-old Taubman forced his tongue into Rock's ear, kissed her, touched, and slapped her. And in one instance, Taubman allegedly pushed her onto his bed in the private jet and attempted to perform oral sex on her. I had to uh, seek counseling. I was very sick, very ill. Nicole says things got worse when she got pregnant and when she returned after having the baby. Our client uh, was pregnant during her employment. Uh, when Mr. Taubman found out about it, the allegations are that he became very uh, upset and there was an element of retaliation regarding the pregnancy. I took the maternity leave, went back to work and was still told after the baby was born that I had to, um, I should have gotten an abortion. I was unable to. Um, Enjoy my baby. So why did she stay for so long? Nicole says she had bills to pay and a newborn to support. Finally, she quit. I try not to think about this and put it in the back of my mind, but, you know, it's always there. I don't think it'll ever go away. We were told that Taubman himself was not available for an on-camera interview. His office released this statement that says the allegations contained in the complaint filed in court this morning against A. Alfred Taubman are not true. Mr. Taubman will address the complaint through the appropriate legal channels. And will, of course, keep you posted on any new developments in the case. Reporting live, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News. Tom, of course, we know these are just allegations and haven't been proven, but how much is she seeking in court? Well, according to her attorney, Thomas Warnicke, she is seeking about 1% of his reported wealth, which is about $29 million.